learned about quadrilaterals. Now we learned about triangles, and then all three angles of a triangle add up to equal what? 180. 180. Now we're going to learn about a quadrilateral. That's any shape with how many sides? Four. How many, Caroline? Four. Four. Any shape with four sides is a what? Quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a closed figure formed by four line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. The sum of the measures of the angles of the quadrilateral is what? 360. 360. So when we did the triangles, well, I'd say this angle plus this angle plus this angle equals 180. So with quadrilaterals, what do you think they're going to do? All four angles add up to equal how much, Caroline? 360. You're going to have to come out of your little, little pump there. And so today we want to learn the property that all four angles of a quadrilateral add up to equal what? So they give us three angles of a quadrilateral. So we, we know that we have to find which one makes up 360, right? So they have one that's 35 plus 79 plus 118. And what do all those added up equal? 232. 232. Does that equal 360? No. No, so we got to find what the fourth angle will be so that all four angles add up to 360. So do 360 minus 232 and tell me what you get. 128. 128. So the final angle of the quadrilateral is how much, Caroline? 128. 128. So they tell us angle one is this, angle two is this, angle three is this, and using those three, we found angle four. Because all four angles of a quadrilateral add up to equal how much? 360. Sorry. Okay, so look up here. <laughs> now we've got this quadrilateral, and we know all four sides add up to equal what? 360. So let's add them up. X plus 140 plus X plus 140. And what did you say they all equal? 360. <laughs> Now we have to combine like terms. What's x plus x? x plus x is x. So an apple plus an apple is just an apple. 2x. And 140 plus 140 is what? 280. And what's that all equal? 360. So now it's just like we had with the triangles. you got to solve for x. What is? What do I do to get 280 over there? Subtract 280 on both sides. So I got 2x equals, what's 360 minus 280? 80. Now I got to divide 2 on both sides. So what's x equal? 40. So what do I know that each of these angles are? 40. We know all three angles add up to equal what? 360. So you just add everything that's there together and put equals 360. So I got x plus 5 plus, now this is a right angle, so it means it's 90 degrees plus x plus 135, and that all equals what? 360. 360. Now i got to combine like terms. Can I do x plus 5 is 5x? No. x plus x is 2x. I use those. And 5 plus 90 plus 135 was what? 230. 230. So I had 2x plus 230, and that equals 360. Now it's just an equation like we've been doing all year, and you've got to solve for x. Subtract 230 on both sides, and you get 2x equals what? 130? Yep. Then divide 2 on both sides, so x equals 65. So now you've got to take what you got for x and put it in for x. x is 65 right here, so you know that angle is 65. And then you put it in here for x. 65 plus 5 is what? So there's your four angles, 90, 70, 65, and 135, by using the property that all four angles of a quadrilateral add up to equal 360. Now on these four, it says how many ways can each quadrilateral be classified? Now you know right away that each one is, is a quadrilateral. All these are quadrilateral, <coughs> so you can write quadrilateral on all of them. Now this one, these two sides are parallel, but these two aren't, so this is a what? The trapezoid, and that's it. Here, what's this thing? It's a rhombus. 
and a parallelogram. Good, because this is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this. Okay, what about this? It's a, it's a rectangle. A parallelogram. Anything else? That's it. What about this? A quadrilateral and a what? Look, this is parallel to this, but these two aren't parallel, so it's not a parallelogram. It's a trapezoid. So we had quadrilateral trapezoid, quadrilateral rectangle parallelogram, I mean rhombus, quadrilateral rectangle parallelogram, and quadrilateral trapezoid. Okay? So today you learned how to classify quadrilaterals, and then you learned that all four angles of a quadrilateral add up to equal 360.